Linebacker Paul Worlow has been waived, cut, released by the Philadelphia Eagles. It's unfortunate. I think like a week or two weeks ago, he was dealing with some knee issues and he wasn't practicing and unfortunately didn't play. I don't think he, he didn't play in these first two preseason games. So Eagles cut him. And honestly, at this point, I think I feel a little bit better because I know that LJ Fort is all over the field making tackles, and, and I want to see more of him, especially I can't wait till the regular season does, you know, when it starts. Zach Brown was a huge signing for us. Nate Gary is a hopefully a fully transformed linebacker, you know, being a safety at Nebraska. And, you know... Nate Gary is getting his starting. He's had a lot of starting experience, and the coaches are very, you know, Kevin Fajol, the linebacker coach, very high on him. And, you know, you have guys like TJ Edwards that's undrafted from Wisconsin, I think from Wisconsin. Um, and uh, he's probably going to get his chance as well. And as of right now, it's not really going to hurt the team at all. This is just something that just had to be done. The Eagles need to bring in another guy. You got two more games, two more preseason games left, especially one against the Baltimore Ravens this week, which is going to be very important. Um, but I'm happy with what we have, even with Paul Warlow after uh, you know, um, you know, getting you know released. Paul Warlow was a great linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons and was making tackles all over the field. I remember him from you know a few years back when you know he was just all over the field making tackles, and he was very physical, and he just had that nasty edge towards him. And then, you know, played with, um, you know, the Lions for one year, and then finally got his chance in Philadelphia, um, tore his ACL before beginning of training camp or whatever the hell it was. And then this past offseason, we re-signed him to a one-year deal, which was I was very excited about. And this is before we had... You know, this is before we didn't know if Nate Gary was going to do well or, um, you know, still open. You know, it's, it's still, you know, um, about Nate Gary. Everything's still up in the air with him because I need to see him in a real game. Um, but this is before Zach Brown signing. Nadra Brown was still kind of hurt. And uh, as of right now, um, you know, and then we have, you know, like I said, brought TJ Edwards in, the undrafted um, linebacker. So as of right now, I'm pretty good with our group. I don't think losing him is a is a big deal at all. But at the same time, um, you know, it sucks because I really want to see him play. I really want to see him, you know, just do his thing. I think he was like, what, 30 years old, something like that. Um, and, you know, really worked so damn hard to come back and then just can't um, with these knee injuries. It's just absolutely crazy. So um, one linebacker down. And uh, I think we're good after this. I think we're fine. I don't think we need to make any changes. I think we're good with the group that we do have. Um, I just want to see the linebacker group do a little bit more work. I want to see what TJ Edwards can bring to the table. I want to see uh, Nate Gary be that guy that everyone's talking so highly about. I want to see Zach Brown out there being that vet that he is, making physical tackles. And Nigel Brown is just coming back now. So can't really complain. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this. And I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly or fly.